I'm Carolyn Wheeler, artist here at the MOCA, and we're here to talk about some of my artwork. Well, I, I was interested in mosaic when we had the Italian girls come out and uh, the wonderful show we had that um, introduced mosaic to a lot of us that were not familiar with it. And I started playing with it, and one day I found this um, styrofoam torso in the dumpster right here at, uh, in the back of Mocha. And I threw her in the back of my car and took her home, felt like I was kidnapping somebody. I was, I was so excited because I knew that this was a project that would be fun to mosaic. It was 48 hours later that a friend of mine who's also an art agent said, I have somebody who wants a figurative piece, three-dimensional piece, and I think this is right exactly what he's looking for. So that was fortuitous, and that gave me incentive to really get going. Um, when I found the torso, it was a piece of styrofoam that had been painted and dug at and and played around with quite a lot. And so I had to scrape the styrofoam completely off and then refinish it with some kind of um, reinforcing structure that would hold all the, the loose parts in place and would also hold on the mosaic tiles. So the, I covered the body with a mixture of thin set, which is a um, uh, cement material that also has uh, a polymer in it so that it's sticky. And I dipped in strips of fiberglass mesh and applied them all over the whole torso. And it, I didn't even know if it was going to work, but it did. And it gave it this very interesting texture that the client ended up wanting to remain because he thought the contrast of the slick tile and the rough, very cement-like looking torso was a, an interesting contrast. So when she dried, I put together a number of uh, sketches, Photoshop um, images of options that I thought would be interesting for him to choose from in the pattern and design. And this one was called the athlete. And I thought her her body structure made her look like she was holding a torch or saying, ta-da, and he agreed. So we chose almost a swimsuit look for the front because um, she's going to be naked. You couldn't really put much of anything else on her. You can't put a dress on her. and So she's. She was, we were originally going to do solid all the way from one arm down one leg and we agreed that we liked the idea of something a little bit more organic and naturey on the back. So I put the design of a vine coming up, being very sexy up through the back end and then winding around her arm. And it remains to be seen whether the client wants to fill in the arm or if he likes the, um, the vine. So we shall see. So let me show you some of the tools and materials that are used in mosaic making. In the case of this torso, we chose to do very um, luminescent, iridescent tiles because they have an Indian um, sort of a character to them, and those were the colors that the um, client asked for. So I put together kind of a, a list of options and he okayed some and not others and that presented a bit of a challenge because you need a balance of light and dark but I lay everything out in recycled plastic bins and most of the tiles for this piece could go in whole but quite a few had to be cut and so to go to the tools the cement is applied with um, a, tr a small trowel and the pieces are either laid in place or cut with a nipper or this wonderful, uh, relatively new, um, it's also called a nipper tile nipper, that snaps in a relatively straight line. So 
see there's a little curve and that is what always happens when you use these kinds of tools so a lot of times you need to have extras because you end up with a strange shape and then the tiles have to be picked up and placed with these tweezer forceps because when you try to put a tile in with your fingers you get the cement on I always wear gloves but you get that cement on your gloves and from then on you can't control, you can't pick things up, you can't get things in place. So this is one of those tools you have to become proficient with. And if the tile isn't exactly right, you can try sanding it, which is very hard on the fingernails and the knuckles. But I do use that technique. The process of mosaicing is um, slow going. You can only put just a small piece of cement, an area of cement, down at one time. And, and on a vertical piece like this, you actually have to start at the bottom because the tiles will slide. If you start right in the middle, you'll find them down here the next day. And even though I, I was careful to make everything dry before I moved on to the next section, they still moved. So then you learn how to dig tiles back out, which isn't any fun at all. But... Um, it's important that the tiles are always an equal distance from each other, and that takes practice, so you have to go slowly and let it dry and then build area upon area. Okay, well, thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my process. Um, and my uh, studio space is Studio 100 here at Marin Mocha, and I'm available um, any time for a consultation that COVID allows us to visit with each other. Thank you.